Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle with another weekly wax meltdown to share with you today. Um, the month of May is going to be a little different than usual. I don't usually kind of pull like a melting basket or melting drawer, so to speak. Uh, but for the month of May, the wax melting challenge prompts um, kind of guided me on a melting drawer. I posted a picture of that on the community tab. If you didn't see that, you can go check it out. But what I did was choose two cents for each of the May wax melting challenge prompts. I tried to choose one cincy and one non cincy for each prompt. Um, but there may be some days, you know, that have two of one instead. But also, I'm going to kind of break the rules, I guess. I'm not going to melt these on the days um, that the prompts are assigned to. I just kind of chose scents based on the prompts, threw them all in a drawer, and am going to pick those kind of based on my mood and what I'm in the mood for that day. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm apparently a very mood melter, so melting these on the day specifically they're assigned to is no good for me so I'm breaking all the rules <laughs> um, let's jump in I will go ahead and start with Scentsy like I normally do and then talk non Scentsy on their assigned days also I did not like if I chose the second day of May for Scentsy I did not necessarily choose my second day of May for non Scentsy it's just 62 cents basically in a drawer that I'm picking from randomly so but I will let you know when I talk about them what day that they're assigned to. <laughs> okay, first is, if you've been watching my channel, you know I love my Apple Press. It's my favorite Apple scent from any vendor. It is um, Apple, Pear, and the Last Full Roses of Summer. This was assigned to the second day of the Melting Challenge, which is Teacher Day, Melt an Apple Scent. I mean, come on, right? <laughs> and as you can see, I melted through two clamshells of it. It's not a super sophisticated apple scent, but it is um, not just a basic apple scent either. It is slightly fall, slightly floral, but I don't know that you would really know those are in there unless I told you. It just smells like a good fresh apple not a fake apple to me like a good fresh apple all right next is inner peace and this was a bring back my bar um when was that june of last year speaking of who's excited to bring back my bar next month me um i will be getting the uh consultant preview of it. I think we can order it on the 15th. So as soon as that comes in, you know I will be doing sniffs, although I have smelled most of them. But anyway, back to inner peace. <laughs> Earthy wood notes, uh, lemon grove, and cypress. And I really like this scent. It can go a little bit um, citronella almost. Some have said urinal cake. I could get that too. <laughs> I just try not to think of that. It's very fresh. Oh, assigned the fourth day of May, which is May. Okay, I had to fudge a little on this one. The fourth day of May. May 4th, get it? May the 4th be with you. A Star Wars scent or a star-shaped wax. So I don't have any of the Star Wars wax. Um, I kind of, I like all the scents. I just don't love them. The one I like the most is actually the Mandalorian uh, Era of Adventure, but it is a dirty wax, and I can't have that. So, anyway, inner peace. How did I correlate that to Star Wars? I think to use the Force, you kind of have to have some inner peace. Yeah? Okay. Um, so, yeah, I like this scent. I just didn't think I would probably use it enough to put it in my club. But I would totally buy more if, you know, it showed up in the clearance section or a flash sale or another bring back my bar. I like that scent. Um, by the way, I would say Inner Peace is a strong scent and Apple Press is a strong scent. I forget to mention that sometimes. And Alpine Meadow is the next one. 
and this is wild red berry lemon and dewy greens i signed this to the sixth day of may which is the kentucky derby melt a mint grass or dirt scent to me this is really grassy it kind of reminds me of easter like an easter grass yeah it's got a little fresh lemon wild berries and eh. I don't know about that, but medium performer, I enjoy that scent. Not one I need to stock up on or club or anything like that, but I enjoy it. Next is the North Calls, and this is a mix of berry, grapefruit, lily of the valley, and marine. I signed this to the 14th day of May, which is Mother's Day. Melt a floral or a scent that reminds you of your mom. And I've said this before, this reminds me of my mom or at least the perfume that she wears. It's beautiful by Estee Lauder. She doesn't wear it often, but it's pretty much the only one she's um, purchased for years now. Anyway, um, as far as the scent goes, there is no way I would have any clue what is in this scent if I wasn't reading scent notes here. It's fresh, it's a little floral, it's definitely feminine. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you any of that stuff that's in it. It's it's beautiful scent on the lighter side. Next is Harry Potter and the Ravenclaw Wit and Wisdom. And it is suede, sandalwood, and smooth vanilla. Or, or another version said smooth vanilla, airy white musk, incense spiced, spiked sandalwood and mahogany wood. So this is leather with kind of a musky, a musky note and a little bit of a fresh note in there as well. I signed this to the 18th day of May, which is melt something that's movie related. I mean, what better movie, right? Um, on the performance side of this, this is in my club. I would assume it's coming back. Don't take my word for it, but. I think you gotta try it. I think it's the most popular one, except obviously for the one that's in the catalog from Harry Potter. Anyway, as far as strength, on the stronger side of light or the lighter side of medium, however you wanna look at it. It's, it's not super light, it's noticeable, but it's definitely not a scent that I would want any stronger either. Next is Strawberry Rose, and this is Strawberry Rose Petal and Sheer Musk, and not a super rosy scent. Don't let that scare you. Oh, I signed it the 21st day of May, which is Melt a Strawberry Creamy Scent, and this is more of a strawberry scent than a rose scent by far. <laughs> I really like it. I had it in my club for a while, but I feel like the older the bars get, the more I don't like it. It kind of comes off a little waxy almost. But I will say strawberry sometimes from Scentsy or any vendor, I guess, comes off a little waxy in certain situations for me, certain ones. But brand new, this love it like a candy strawberry almost with a little just hint of like a floral suede in the rose suede in the background okay friend like me is the next one and this is sapphire mist blue cyclamen petal and magnolia blossom i signed it the 29th day of may which is memorial day melt a red white or blue wax or combo and friend like me you can't see it but it's a blue wax um, probably about the color of Genie is the color of the wax, I would say. This is a fresh scent. They really, really need to come back with this. The whole Aladdin set would be amazing to come back. Um, yeah, a little aquatic, a l maybe a little floral, but fresh. It's fresh. It's, I would say in the light realm of scent however new i think these were stronger i 
when these first came out, I would say it's a good medium scent, but now it's more on the lighter side, and I don't know, oh, you can see a day in here. 2019, yeah. It is May 13th of 2019. So that tells you how old that is. And my last Scentsy is Vitamin Relax. And this is Bergamot, Vanilla, and Warm Amber. I assigned this to the 30th day of May, Melt Something Orange. And this is, you know, kind of an orange-ish color, orangey peach color. This is in my club. It is a light performer, I would say. Yeah, definitely light performer. But very soothing, calming. It's more of an amber type scent, the bergamot. When I think of bergamot, I think of like a masculine cologne almost version. This is, does not lean that way at all. It's just a light, calming, amber kind of scent. So that's my Scentsy. Now, let's go to non -sensey. And I have Destination Wax, Raspberries, and Sugar. I was hoping that this was kind of similar to Scentsy's Raspberry Lollipop from last year. It's not. Um, ripe Red Raspberries and Strawberries Sweetened with Sugar. So, I would say this is probably more of a realistic raspberry sugar scent, and Scentsy's is more of a candy. I enjoyed it, but I would not repurchase it. I think I have one other um, bar of it, though, because I was expecting to like it. Oh, forgot to mention, it was assigned the third day of May, which is melt a scent that contains raspberry. So, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> All right. Next is from Super Tarts, Brutiful, which used to be, oh, what did it, I went blank, I don't remember what it used to be. Um, it is a coffee scent with cappuccino, coconut, whipped cream, and pie crust. And I had probably about two clamshells worth of it that I had put double bagged. And taken out of the clamshell because her clamshells are awful. They smell like horrible plastic. I think she fixed that, but I haven't purchased um, any super tarts in a while. I have plenty to go through and it lasts. It's strong usually. Anyway, but this scent was pretty nice. I like that um, creamy coconut mixed with coffee and smoothed out with some, you know, whipped cream too. My favorite was from Pink Zebra. It's not available anymore. My favorite that is currently available is from Destination Wax. It is the coffee Kona Mocha or Kona Coffee Mocha. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, it's got coconut in the scent notes as well. Um, did I say what day I had this on? No, I didn't. The ninth day is what the Brutiful was assigned to, and it says melt either a cereal or breakfast related scent. I mean, coffee, <laughs> that's breakfast. So that's my logic there. Um, and a strong performer, in case I didn't say it. Next we have Laundry Fresh. And this, I think, is new to their current catalog. You know, I love my fresh scents. This is Fresh Breeze Mineral Spring and Clean Florals. I have to put these in either very good performing Scentsy warmers or like in a candle crock with from an in, in, a, in an empty candle vessel in a candle crock to get good performance from these or a pink zebra warmer. Those are usually a little hotter, but anyway. Best way for me is a candle crock that I can, you know, use an empty candle jar and just dump the whole thing in and I'm done. By the way, I don't know if I've said this, but I don't think I'm going to be purchasing any more Pink Zebra just because of that being the only way I can use the, use the wax to get the scent that I want. Anyway, okay, sorry, that was off subject there. <laughs> 
Um, this was assigned the 12th day of May, which is Melta Company Friendly Scent. So, laundry scent, which is exactly what it is. It was, in a candle crop, an average performer. Yeah, and definitely like a powdery laundry scent. It was nice. I enjoyed it. Next is from Destination Wax, Mirror of the Witch. Mirror of, yeah, Mirror of the Witch. And this was a sign, the 15th day, which is melt something that starts with M. So, Mirror. This is Cotton Candy, Orange, and Strawberry. And this was surprisingly good. I mean, I like Fruity Scents, too, quite a bit. And this was... Um, sweet i mean i kind of got a good blend of all of those one kind didn't really stand out more than the other so it was a good blend um of a sweet strawberry orange fruity scent okay next so this scent was actually assigned to the 11th day of the april challenge i did not get to it um the eight track Tape Day reminds you of 70s, 80s, I guess that's a 60s. Anyway, since it didn't make that, I tried to find one, um, didn't make my April melting. I tried to find one in May that it fit with. Pink, cherry, and vanilla. And I assigned this the 17th day of May. And it is National Cherry Cobbler Day. Melt a cherry or bakery scent. And I, okay, so pink, cherry, and vanilla. This is sweet, juicy cherries float on a fluffy pink cloud of vanilla cream topped with sliced almonds. So I got from this actually more of a floral cherry with some vanilla, but I feel like the floral came out quite a bit. There's cherry blossom in here in the mid notes. Yeah. I would not repurchase this again. It was not quite what I was looking for when I did purchase it. Uh, next is Destination Wax again with Heavenly. And this is actually um, inspired by a Victoria's Secret Heavenly perfume is the name of it. Heavenly. And I actually wore this, um, gosh, probably 15 years ago for a while. <laughs> I signed this the 22nd day of May, Victoria Day. Melt a scent fit for royalty. Heavenly. I mean, come on. Right. Um, white floral of peony, rose, cyclamen, hydrangea, violet with gold musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. So, this was kind of reminiscent of Heavenly, but not really what I remember. And it's very light also. And actually, it was in the discontinued sense when I purchased it. I think I had two other, um, whatever these are called, melts, melt bars. And it was very light. Um, anyway, enjoyed it. Probably should have melted it before now. Christmas Morning Punch from Yankee is next. And this was assigned the 25th day of May. Melt a wine colored wax or a wine inspired blend. So I kind of had a hard time finding one for this um, prompt. But I figured this went with it. <laughs> it is... Um, a spectacular blend of ruby red pomegranate strawberry cranberry and yes I would say probably cranberry at its core but kind of that dark heavy cooked cranberry with some pomegranate to brighten it up and a little strawberry just to brighten it up maybe I enjoyed this I might would repurchase this again it was a nice fruity scent could lean holiday, could lean not holiday, kind of depending on your preferences. And last but not least on wax melts is another pink zebra, Island Breeze. 
and I assigned this the 26th day melt a blue or fish shaped wax and this was blue wax sprinkles similar probably to the lighter blue on that label fresh floral green apple beach breeze and it is it's nice I enjoy it I did not intend to have like four um, packages of it but yeah it's it, it kind of reminds me of a budget friendly laundry detergent powder anyway it was okay okay only things left are some candles if that's all you stopped by for thank you give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos i have two candles in front of me and actually both of them i think have been in the candle crocs for at least two weeks probably closer to three weeks now and i loved this one bath and body works fresh coconut cotton Ooh, this was so good i can still smell it in the lid i have one more of these i will definitely purchase these again if they come out this was I don't want to say strong, but it was definitely noticeable for multiple weeks. Um, and there's only been one other candle from Bath and Body Works that has lasted that long in candle crocs. That's the next one we'll talk about, but we've talked about it quite a few times. So this is amazing. It is coconut, Chris, coastal breeze and beachside cotton and a, a great blend of cotton and coconut and a little fresh breeze in there and as you can see all the wax is still there it is unscented like i said it stayed in the candle crock at least three weeks anyway um yeah love it will buy more I have one more left but I hope they bring this back I really hope they bring it back. I wish I would have bought more and used it sooner before they ran out anyway actually I haven't looked lately I probably need to look okay the other one is lakeside morning from Bath and Body Works it is crisp autumn air white driftwood and a hint of green apple this one I use in Jake's room um you know his potty pads there it's where he hangs out it is fresh watery not necessarily aquatic but watery and fresh and it lasts multiple weeks a good two weeks out of this one so two great candles for candle crocs by the way um if you haven't watched me for very long i use candle crocs and candle lamps I do not burn candles for multiple reasons I have videos on those I will leave a link in the description box below to the playlist for candles um, candle like it's 2022 is the name of that series that I did okay that's all I have for you today so I'm not sure I'm gonna have a video for you actually on Saturday I planned on placing an order on Monday hoping it'd be here by Friday but I, it's not gonna be here I still haven't placed it as of recording this so it's I highly doubt it will be here this week um, so unless I can think of something to record on Saturday I may not see you then so at least I'll see you next Wednesday when we can talk about some more wax melting challenge wax and until then um, have a great rest of your week and weekend if I don't see you before then. Bye-bye.